in this problem we have a gas spring and so I'm just going to draw a picture of what that might look like. So we have a basically a piston cylinder that has a spring in it and then there's gas in here and so what we're doing is push it, we're compressing that spring. So the the problem gives us the force required to compress the gas in a gas spring at a distance x and so let's just specify x so it's being compressed a certain distance x and then the force is equal to some constant over x to the k and so that x is the distance. And it says where the constant is determined by the geometry of the device and k is determined by the gas used in the device. And so it says one such device, and this should just be one, has a constant of 200 pound force inch to the 1.4 and k is equal to 1.4. And so that's just a, um, a, these are numbers that were like an empirical calculation from experimental data or something like that. Um, and then it says, determine the work in BTU required to compress the spring from 2 inches to 7 inches. So basically, we're compressing the spring from 2 inches to 7 inches. So first of all, what we're looking for is the work. So the work is equal to the force times the distance. And we're given the force, so we're given the force as a function of the distance, so what we can do is integrate this from the 2 to 7 inches and then we can calculate the work. So this is going to be equal to, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to put in the 2 inches and the 7 inches right now, I'm just going to call this like x1 to x2, so we're compressing it from x1 to x2, and I'm going to actually just write this as 1 and 2. So we're compressing this from 1 to 2, and the force times the distance, so this is ds, and actually just call it dx since we're dealing with x. So what we can do is take this force and put it in here, so um, going to put the force in for F and so this is equal to so we're going to integrate from 1 to 2 and then this is just a constant over X to the K DX and so you can calculate you can do this integration either on your calculator or um, we know that so X to the N dx is equal to 1 over n plus 1, x to the n plus 1. And so where we have xk on the bottom here, this is really x negative k. So we can integrate this and this will be equal to 1 over 1 minus k multiplied by x to the 1 minus k. <clears throat> and then this is from 1 to 2. And <clears throat> so what we get if we do that is that this is equal to, and so the constant just comes out. So the constant comes out. And I'll actually write this here. So this, um, so we have x over 1 minus k and then x and then this x on top is to the 1 minus k and then this is 1 to 2 and we've pulled the constant out so this is all multiplied by the constant so let me rewrite this here so we have constant multiplied by and then we have x2 and this is all going to be over, and I'll actually just write out the whole thing so it's clear. Um, so we have the constant multiplied by x2. So we have x2 
to the 1 minus k over 1 minus k. And then this is minus x1 to, to the 1 minus k over 1 minus k. So now we can pull out the 1 minus k. So we have constant over 1 minus k. And then we have x2, 1 minus k, minus x1, 1 minus k. So now we're at a point before we can start plugging in some numbers. And I recommend always going through these sorts of problems with the symbolic equation before putting in any numbers because if you start trying to put in numbers early it's going to get confusing. Okay, so this is equal to, so it told us the constant was 200 pound force inch squared. So 200 pound force inch, actually it's to the 1.4 and this is over, oops, so over 1 minus 1.4 and then we have um, so x2 is 7 inches so we have 7 inches to the 1 minus 1.4 because k, so k is 1.4 so I'm putting in 1.4 for k and minus and then 2 inches to the 1 minus 1.4. So now in order to get these units to work out we need to do something that's a little bit tricky. So let's, I'm going to rewrite this, so 200 um, so 200 pound force inch to the 1.4 over 1 minus 1.4 and and then we have 7 inches so I'm going to write out this so 1 minus 1.4 is negative 0.4 so we have 7 to the negative 0.4 and inch to the negative 0.4 so remember when you apply this um, negative 0.4 so 7 to the negative 0.4 you also need to apply that to the unit so minus 2 to the negative 0.4 inch negative 0.4 so now we have inch to the 1.4 multiplied by inch to the 0.4. So the 1.4 and the 0.4 are just going to become 1. So to rewrite that. So the 1.4 and the negative 0.4 just become 1. So we're left with inch. Okay, so this works out to, um, well, I'm just going to rewrite this. So 200 pound force inch over 1 minus 1.4 multiplied by 7 to the negative 0.4 inch um, and actually this <clears throat> this this unit I combine this unit into this one so I'm just left with inch overall so this is just 7 to the 0.4 or negative 0.4 minus 2 to the negative 0.4 and I have inches. I want to convert the inch into foot. So one foot over 12 inches. So that inch is going to cancel. And I'm going to be left with pound force foot. So this works out to 12.45 pound force foot. And then I have, um, it's asking for the work in BTU. So 1 BTU is equal to 778.169 pound force foot. So I'm going to do this conversion to BTU. So I have 1 BTU over 778.169 pound force foot and this works out to 0 0.016 BTU. So it takes 0 0.16 BTU to, of work to compress the spring from 2 inches to 7 inches.